Hey guys, it's the Mayhem Minute for this uh, May 6, 2015. I'm Mike Sorgan, Sorgatron on the Twitter. You know, please check out our friend SliceOnBroadway.com, BullPittsburgh.com, uh, PittsburghWrestling.com. Support the show. Let me know you learned about them on the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Network here. And check out all our other shows at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We have so much going on throughout the week to entertain you and start some conversations and get you into it with us. So let's get into, uh, this is a story, I we danced around this on Wrestling Mayhem Show when we recorded it last night. Please check out uh, episode 468. We had a lot of fun with the guys uh, launching uh, actually this morning. And it's on your way out to video and audio streams as we're recording this, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. It will be up uh, later today with the main post with all of those collected, of course, as usual, but uh, definitely on YouTube and everything at the moment. But uh, Michelle Beadle, uh, she posted an in-depth blog uh, on why she no longer supports the WWE. I got it here over um, uh, courtesy of wrestling, WrestleZone.com. And uh, basically, I mean, she she states how much she is a WWE fan, how much there's this, you know, and then after an incident where she got flogged on Twitter for talking to Floyd Merriweather, looked into his abusive past. And, you know, again, I don't know all the I just know that there are domestic violence issues that have been brought up uh, over this, and uh, you know I I am I am completely unaware of this partly probably because of the WWE marketing machine. I mean they just had you know kind of to latch on to this fight going on Pacquiao Mayweather uh, this past weekend. Uh, they actually uh, did a special about a 20 30 minute special on the WWE Network. They did Friday night. Uh, about the time Floyd Mayweather came to WrestleMania and uh, had his fight with Big Show. And uh, I had no idea of this background here. I'm really not a boxing fan. I really could care less. I have my thoughts uh, and opinions on boxing in general um, and whether it's worthwhile or not. But, um, but, but the thing is, you know, we do have... You know, this situation is a very public thing and very publicly WWE and Triple H in particular has uh, been very supportive of Floyd Mayweather and using it for their own kind of publicity needs, etc., etc., and, uh, and, and, and now, you know, this is an issue. And then of course, Michelle Beadle kind of, uh, you know, coming out and saying, Hey, you know, they support this kind of thing with Floyd Mayweather, you know, they, they are supporting very openly, um, especially Triple H, you know, who is the executive vice president, the COO, I think on screen, he's a CEO, COO, uh, he's executive vice president of WWE off screen. I, I don't know what how that distinction all works in, but still he's, he's in charge of a good portion of the deal making and et cetera at WWE. He's the guy that's kind of brought up NXT, right? And, uh, it, well, first here, let me let me go to the comments before I get a little deeper into this. Um, uh, LB will LB uh, uh, pop a lunchbox from the show, um, panelright.com. He he says Floyd rather my, Floyd Mayweather is an absolute piece of shit masquerading as a person. I will agree with that. Triple H often forgets that he is a public figure and his actions have consequences. Michelle Beadle is a great example of what is likely to happen if Triple H doesn't start thinking before he acts. Also, boxing sucks. Agree. And, and this 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 interest to try to resurrect boxing by putting it everywhere um, is, is really interesting to me these days. Uh, you know, and, and this is like, well, you, am, I, am I a crappy person for still supporting WWE, buying the tickets, buying my WWE network? Um, and, and this is, this is of course, of course, Michelle Beadle is somebody who deals a little more personally with WWE and is a fan of it and, and a fan of Triple H, as she says, and, and, and all the good they do. I was actually just listening to the Stephanie McMahon uh, uh, Jericho podcast last night that, that aired last week on the WWE. And they, and they talked about how they have to go around defending WWE in these other countries that maybe don't understand, you know, haven't really kind of wrapped their heads around, uh, depending on where the country's at culturally uh, about professional wrestling. And now this is one more thing they have to sort of defend themselves on. And, and that's the thing. If, um, if, if I was unable, if I couldn't support things that were of a questionable nature, because the more you learn about wrestling, the more you learn how messed up some of the people are that are involved in it, uh, then I would not be a wrestling fan, you know, as part of that weirdness, and, and unfortunately, sometimes bad weirdness that happens, you know, and, 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 I think for Michelle Beadle, I think this is a very public statement for her to say this, um, also, I want to make very clear, I am not a lady, and I'm sure I would feel more strongly on this if I were a lady, but I, 
definitely empathize with the uh, situation. Um, I wish Floyd Mayweather was not on my television uh, over the last week of WWE programming. You know, um, I will tell you, I will not finish the special because I just kind of try to watch everything that comes out to see what's going on 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 the network, so we can talk about it here on the shows. But uh, you know, I I, I will. You know, it, 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 not that that really helps anything. They're still getting my dollar. They're still getting me talking about them, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, but this is definitely gives a little bit of pause. And it's like, you know, come on, WWE, you have to distance yourselves from this. You have to do something because you're getting, especially after a comment like this, you know, our blog like this, uh, talking about this. You do so much, so good. She usually mentions in her blog their backing of Susan G. Cohen, Make a Wish, and Boys and Girls Clubs, and their bullying campaigns with Be a Star. You know, I mean, there's so much good, positive things that WWE does do, but then there's this. You have your divas and everything, and now there's this, you know? And I think that's something they definitely need to address. You have opinions. Ladies. Hey, ladies. Um, oh, no, seriously. I do want to hear ladies. I, I, I hate that we have just a bunch of white dudes talking about all these uh, all these uh, issues, cultural issues in, in professional wrestling uh, on the show. And uh, I, I want to hear from the ladies. I want to hear from everybody on this one. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Are you less of a WWE fan or Triple H fan because of his support of Floyd Mayweather? Floyd Mayweather in the light of all this stuff and I, I don't know it is and I'm not clear I apologize he has been he has been convicted of these of these issues as well so this isn't even a question he's a convicted domestic violence you know uh, person you know person like a lesson person as far as I'm concerned but um whatever I hate boxing WWE really, you're not gonna win by this one just step away just step away let me know your thoughts, uh, comments, list if you're finding the video on YouTube or Facebook. And of course, you can hit up by any of your thoughts over to at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. You know, because everything uh, comes at WrestlingMayhemShow.com as well. And uh, we will read all of those, respond to some of them. And I hope to start the conversation with you today. So let me. So uh, we'll be hearing from you. Check out everything going on. Wrestling Mayhem Show 468 released today. Um, Indie Mayhem Show 68 with Delilah Doom. A year in the industry, she re returns to the show. And we had a great conversation with her the other night. So please check all of those out. And we'll see you guys next time. Wait for the This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.